terms of training and deciding to compete for Nigeria, was that sort of a natural transition for you in terms of deciding whether or not you wanted to compete for the U.S. or did you try to go the U.S. route and then go to the Nigerian team? No. So kind of shortly right after I had, um, cause I didn't want to go into competing professionally until I was completely done with my student athlete career at university of Maryland. So shortly after competing, I knew I wanted to go to team Nigeria. So, uh, I graduated 2016 of that year. And soon after that, I, w- I got in contact with, uh, coach Gabe, who's the one who kind of recruited me for team Nigeria. And for, for me, it was kind of like a done deal. Uh, Because I'd only really interacted with them. I hadn't really interacted with the U.S. team. So Mm -hmm. in my mind, it was just Team Nigeria I wanted to compete for. And I also was very big since uh, I do have a lot of still roots in Nigeria. And although still doing school for a majority of my time here in the U.S., um, my roots still felt very much grounded there. And I definitely wanted to come back and um, give back to the nation. Absolutely. And so in in a sport that, you know, like being a thrower, that's not as, you know, showcased as like the sprints event or, you know, every other event. What do you think that, you know, the African continent can do to better support athletes like us who are in those low key type of events? Yeah, I I do. It is unfortunate that um, events like the field events aren't showcased as much as the bigger sprinting events. Um, I would say just constantly working to showcase the athletes in the field events because we do compete in very high levels. I've competed with uh, like Olympic level athletes, but um, level athletes, it's not showcased as much. And I've been in very big competitions, even I think in my Doha competition when I was one spot off of making the finals. Uh, no one really was even really watching that competition, but um, being an athlete in the field event, it was a very intense competition because constantly it was everyone just fighting for a spot. So yeah. um, I do think just paying attention to some of the field events because you may be missing very big competitions and it is does very get very exciting. Similar to um, in Doha, uh, Joe Kava, Kovacs was competing against um, against a uh, a lot of the bigger uh, shot putter boys and they all hit 22 meters, which is very big in the shot put. And Joe was able to get that win and that championship in Doha. So they are very intense things. We just need more people to keep an eye out for these field events because very big things happen and you get something very similar to almost world record record breaking Mm -hmm. moments um, if you pay attention to the field events. Absolutely. I 100% agree. I think that what a lot of people don't know and don't realize is that with the field events, you have to be at least top, what, top 32 in the world to even be there. Um, and it's not, it's not the same way that the sprints operate where they have such a huge group of people that go. And so a lot of the times when field events are competing, it's the top people in the world that are competing. And so, like you said, anything could happen, you know, at that time. But 